Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to fix policy violation warning in Google Play console. Recently I have received an important alert for one of my apps in Google Play console inbox. Fix policy violations to prevent your app from being removed. Your app does not adhere to Google Play developer program policies. Fix violations before November 17, 2023 to prevent your app from being removed. So the deadline is November 17th and I received this message on November 11th. And after 4 days, I have received a reminder alert to fix policy violations within 3 days time. Ok, let's see what is that policy violation and how to fix it. Hello friends, welcome back to Ireka Tech Solutions. Let's click on the view details. This is the summary of the warning. Fix to prevent your app from being removed. Deadline is November 18, 2023 and the violation is invalid privacy policy. Your privacy policy is not compliant with our policy requirements. There are more details to address the privacy policy violation. Let's see one by one. The first one is be linked on your app store listing page in play console and within the app itself. Let's see whether I have linked my privacy policy URL in store listing. Go to policy and programs and click on app content. Here it says one declaration needs attention that is privacy policy. Click on edit declaration. I have linked my privacy policy URL. Just checking whether it is pointing to correct page. Ok, this is the privacy policy page for my app. Ok, go back. First point was addressed already. Second one, clearly indicate that the page is a privacy policy. For example, listed as privacy policy in the title or has privacy in the URL and body of the page. Let's verify this point. Ok, I have mentioned privacy policy as the title of the page. So this point was also clear. Next one, be readable in a standard browser without any plugins or special handlers. Because I have created my policy page in Google Sites, this can be accessible in any standard browser without plugins. But you need to verify this if you have created policy page in any other sites. Next one, be available on an active visible URL. Ok, this is also satisfied because my policy URL is of Google Sites. Next, be non-editable. My policy page is showing edit icon because I am using the same Google Play console account to create my policy pages in Google Sites. And currently I logged into my Google Play account so it is showing edit icon here else it can't be editable for other users accessing this page. Ok. Next, have a URL that links to a single governing privacy policy in your website and or are store listing rather than one that points to multiple privacy policies. Let's check this. See it is pointing to only kids knowledge test app privacy policy page. Ok, this point is also satisfied. Next, include the name of the app or entity for example developer or company named in the app store listing. My app name mentioned in store listing is kids learning test but in this page I named it as kids knowledge test everywhere in the privacy policy. Actually when I first created the app it was named as kids knowledge test and I have created this privacy policy with the same name long back. But I renamed it later in the store listing and not updated here. So I should address this in my privacy policy page. Ok, the last point is Comprehensively disclose how your app access, collects, uses and shares user data. This is nothing but the app's data safety section. Whether the app is asking for any personal and sensitive user data and sharing it with any third parties or how the app securing the data etc. So this point has to be addressed clearly in the privacy policy which is missing in this page. As I said earlier, I have created this page long back and later I ignored and not updated. So this page is missing some important points which is leading to policy violations. Ok, now let's update the privacy policy for my kids app. 
as per the policy requirements. I am clicking on this edit icon directly here because I logged in with the same Google account. If you created in your own website or any other public site, log in and start editing the same page. And I have already uploaded a video on how to create privacy policy using Google Sites. I will give the link in the description box for your reference. Here I am just following the same video to edit the privacy policy. I am adding the logo for my app and updating the background for privacy policy header. This is up to you. If you want, you can edit these things or else you can leave it as a plain theme. Okay, now coming to the important section that is body of the privacy policy. I have followed the same video which was uploaded on privacy policy and prepared the content to be written in my privacy policy page. The first section is last updated date. Copy, insert a new text box and paste it here. I am updating this on November 15th. Okay. The next section is introduction to your app. Home apps built the kids learning test app as an interactive preschool educational app for toddlers. This page is used to inform you regarding my policies with the collection, use and disclosure of personal information if anyone decided to use this app. Ok, copied the same. The next section is collecting and using your personal data. This is very important section where you are mentioning the data that app is collecting from user for what purpose, whether you are deleting the data on user request or sharing the data with any third party apps or servers etc. you have to address. Here my app is not collecting any personal or sensitive data from user. So I am mentioning the same. But my app uses some third party SDKs. So I am giving the links to those SDKs privacy policy pages. The next section is security. In this section you will have to mention about how secure your app for the end user to use it. For example, if you are asking the user to accept some permissions in order to use your app, you can address them here by explaining the necessity of that permission and the details that you are accessing on accepting those permissions. For example, in my app, I am asking for record audio permission to check the kids answers by voice commands. So the same thing mentioned here. If you are asking for location permission or video or image permissions, then you need to mention why you want that permission. This data I will give in the description box. If you want, you can copy and edit as per your app requirements. But be careful, you need to update your developer name and app name. Okay, the last section is children's privacy. Whether your app is targeting kids or not, you must add this section. If it is for kids, then you can write, though the app targets children under the age of 13, we do not collect or share any of the personal information from children. Home apps is committed to follow the Google Play families policy for this app. But if your app is not targeting kids, then you can mention our application does not address anyone under the age of 13. Okay, all the important sections are done. Now edit footer. We may update our privacy policy from time to time. We will notify you of any changes by posting the new privacy policy on this page. Okay, everything is done. Just review once whether you have covered all the points or not. Now click on this arrow, select review changes and publish. You can see the updated privacy policy page on the left side and currently published page on the right. Review the changes and click on publish. Yes, done. Okay. Uh, okay, let me change the name of this page and address also to refer the proper app name that is kids learning test. Click on save. Now select view published site option. Yes, URL got updated. Now copy this URL. Go to app content page. Edit the declaration with the latest URL. Save the declaration and send it for review.
done. So I have updated my privacy policy section and it is in review state. Let me see what happens to my app after November 18th. So I published my changes on November 15th and I received a new message in my inbox on November 21st saying a recent policy violation about your app has been addressed. Thanks for helping to keep users safe on Google Play. Go to policy status page to see if you have any other warnings or issues with your app. Ok, click on go to policy status. See no issues found. And when I go to app content page, there is no items in need attention tab. Privacy policy declaration is moved to action item. That means my app is safe in Google Play Store. Hope you understood how to address policy violations in similar situations. Check all the points and address them properly in your privacy policy page and send it for review. If you like my explanation, please like the video, comment and subscribe to iRecordTech Solutions. Thank you.